Hi, fourth grader. Today, you are going to begin working on your spelling words for this week, which focus on prefixes. Let's take a look at the spelling list. Number one, unpleasant. Two, unguarded. Three, disguise. Four, unusual. Five, unfortunate. Six, research. Seven, unbelievable. Eight, misplace. Nine, misbehave. 10, misspell. 11, redraw. 12, submarine. 13, rebuild. 14, renewable. 15, recycle. 16, subtitle. 17, forearm. 18, subhead. 19, retry. 20, refuel. Now let's look to identify the prefixes in each word. We'll start with word number one, unpleasant. What is the prefix in unpleasant? That's right, un. Now let's look for other words that have the prefix un. They are unguarded, unusual, unfortunate, unbelievable. The prefix un means not. So when un is added to a base word, it makes the meaning the opposite. Pleasant means something that's nice. Unpleasant is something that is not nice. Now let's look for words that have the prefix dis. What word do you see with the prefix dis? That's right, disguise. This is the only word on our word list that has the prefix dis. Dis is another prefix that means not. Next, we are going to look for words with the prefix re. The word research has a prefix re. Re means again. You have the base word search, and then the prefix re makes it search again. What other words have the prefix re? Yes, redraw, rebuild, renewable, recycle, retry, and refuel. There are many words on our spelling list this week that have the prefix re, which means again. Now let's look for words with the prefix miss. Word number eight, misplace. What other words have the prefix miss? Misbehave and misspell. The prefix miss means wrong. If you misplace something, that means you place it or you put it in the wrong place. To misbehave means to behave in the wrong way. And to misspell means to spell something wrong or incorrectly. Now we need to look for words that have the prefix sub. What words do you see with the prefix sub? Yes, submarine, subtitle, and subhead. The prefix sub means under or below. A submarine is a water vehicle that goes under the water. A subtitle is a title underneath the main title. And a subhead, or as we know it as subheading, it's a heading that is underneath the main heading. Our last word is forearm. What is the prefix in the word forearm? It is F-O-R-E, for. For means earlier or before. A forearm is the section that comes before the arm. As you look and study this spelling list, you will see that some words have spelling patterns that follow patterns that we know. There are other words that follow unusual spelling patterns, so be on the lookout for those.
Use your knowledge of our decoding skill this week to help you practice spelling both usual and unusual spelling patterns.